Look, he, uh, bro, is already on your body, bro. You see, bro, he is coming. Look, oh, bro, coming too. Look, they both. Oh, hell no. Find out they set that boy up, bro. Look how confused you on throw. Everybody seen you. The lady at the front seen you. The people in the back seen you. The police seen you. God seen you. I seen you. And everybody else watching this video seen you. But the only thing we didn't see is you getting your damn stomach pumped out because you want to swallow and choke on about 30 urkeys. It's a damn fool, fam. You need milk. You're a little bit too hot out here. Don't go reach for no chain. My little homie clutching a ride. Ready to blow your... Clock in, clock in. Black guy just walked in. Yeah. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his vitals. Team Black got to stand up, man. Yo. Right now, we got another video with Thugger, bro. You feel me? I had to hop up and, and, and see this video because it's like, if it ain't one thing, it's the other. Now, me looking at this title is ridiculous. And I'm reacting to it from, y'all know that, that lawyer that tried to, you feel me, clear Boston Richie name in the situation? Him. It, I was going to just look at the video, but I was like, man, I don't need somebody to talk about it real quick. Somebody with some... Law training or whatever the case is. Is he even a real lawyer? Somebody let me know in the comments. You feel me? But y'all leave a black heart for Thugger because if this is actually happening the way it is, it's said that it's happening, it's bad. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to need some milk. Make sure y'all go to my Discord. Discord will be the first link in the description. Make sure y'all click it, tap in so y'all can send me these videos personally. They get to it though. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer board certified as a criminal law specialist and a criminal trial specialist. Today we're talking about bringing contraband into the courtroom. Before we do that, this is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com. It's an effective way. They're doing jury selection right now. And keep in mind, they're doing jury selection and jury selection is, is an arduous process in this case. And they think it'll take about three weeks or so to, to get the jury selected. And it's because it's such a high profile case and there are so many potential jurors. So let's take a look at, at this. So we start out, you can see where this is typical. It's at a break, there's conference, uh, you know, the council table and uh, people in the gallery. So let's see what happens. Now, mind you, this is also a gang case. So there are a lot of deputies. And so the eyes are on you. You're not, there's nothing you can do that they won't see. That's what I'm saying. Like, was this planned or, or did it just happen out of nowhere? I'm trying to figure out, like, is did Young Thug knew, bro, we're going to do this? Uh, bro, just out of nowhere just came with whatever he had and tried to get it to him. Like, what's up? So Mr. Williams is just sitting there next to his lawyer. His lawyer's the one with the mask, obviously. Now you see the guy in the back get up. He comes up to him. He's not part of the legal team. Bro, look how bro is like, bro, look like he up to no good. Do they know they recording the whole courtroom and everything? Bro walked up like he wanted to get caught. And so the minute the deputy, the deputies are watching this thing like a hawk. So the minute they see somebody coming up. Yeah, they look it. Watch what they do. They ain't close on Look, he, uh, bro, is already on your body, bro. You see, bro, he is coming. Look, oh, bro, coming too. Look, they both. Oh, hell no. Find out they set that boy up, bro. Look how confused Young Thug looking, though. Am I tripping? Or is Young Thug looking confused as hell? Like, look at the. Bro, everybody is looking at you. Even people back, even people in the back is looking at you, fam. Even this lady sitting right here is looking at you. Ain't no way he that slow. And he hands him something. Look, look. Oh my God. 
everybody looking at you, boy. They turn he tried to take off. We on your ass. Turn it over. And they, and then they take him back into custody. When you're in court like that, and, and it's a high profile, oh my or God. just a gang case, they are Bruh. watching everybody like a hawk. They want to make sure that safety is paramount. And apparently, it's it's been reported that he gave him whoever that gentleman was gave Mr. Williams a Percocet, which, without a prescription, is a felony, and introducing it into the courtroom is a felony. The reality is, uh, Mr. Williams had nothing to with what to do with what went on in the courtroom on yesterday. Obviously, it looked like he didn't even know bro was walking up on him. Okay. Um, on his way to the restroom, attempted to pass something to Mr. Williams, who immediately turned it over to the deputy. Um, he did not know it was allegedly Percocet? Did not know. Well, we don't know what it is. Um, did not know what it was, turned it over to the deputy right away. Um, the deputies took action. Uh, the individual who had the contraband, not Mr. Williams, uh, was taken into the back where I'm told he ingested whatever he had. He had to be taken to the hospital. And as a result, court was terminated for the rest of the day. <laughs> so so you're, in, you're in trial for a conspiracy yeah. case. And conspiracy, conspiracy to distribute and possess drugs, firearms, and other things is all part of that, right? Let's see what the judge has to say. We've had yet another instance of alleged contraband um, being introduced to our space. And as a result of that and um, a subsequent investigation, um, one of our inmates, unfortunately, had to go to Grady Hospital. The other thing I would just invite counsel to um, talk with their clients about, I know I've mentioned this three times now, what is considered to be acceptable behavior? This is the third time that we've had contraband introduced into this, um, in, in, in this space. So the third time contraband has been introduced into the space. When you have a situation like that, what is the remedy? The remedy for the judge is to, is to keep you separate and you, you can't be in the, in the trial. The court's concern is um, that this may pose issues to them remaining and, be pre and being present in this space. So what the judge is basically saying is, look, if we can't trust you guys, then yeah. you're going to have to watch your, your trial remotely. If you remember Darrell or Daryl Brooks, he, he acted out in the courtroom. And if you don't comport with the decorum that's required in the courtroom, guess what? You've lost your right to be in the courtroom. No and that's kind of a big deal because your lawyer's got to be next to you and the lawyer's got to be in the courtroom. Yeah. So, and these are felonies. These are new felony charges that uh, somebody, somebody's going to get. I don't think, I don't think um, Mr. Williams is going to suffer from a different, di additional charges because he didn't appear to do anything like his lawyer said. But when you think about what they're doing, they're acting in conformity with, with the indictment, aren't they? I mean, here, here, here you got an open court situation, and then they're brazenly bringing in contraband bad into the bad. courtroom. And Trevor. let's say I'm the guy that represents the guy who, who brought something into the courtroom. It puts that lawyer in a very bad position because you have to def somehow defend him and then he and then he's ingesting it and they take him to the hospital to pump his stomach so they can figure out what he's taking and, and what he gave to to young thug so it really puts you in a bad position i've had cases where uh not quite that brazen but i've had clients that have uh, snuck things into the jail or you know i've got clients that tell me i had a client tell me the other day uh how they're making uh white lightning in the in prison that's no Prisons are no stranger to contraband. The prisoners make their own hooch all the time. Uh, they smuggle in all kinds of stuff. But when you're in court, it really is going to jeopardize your ability to mount your defense. And then it, it doesn't look like it was happening in front of the jury, but if it happened in front of the jury, yeah, guess sure. what? If I'm one of the co-defendants, I'd say, you know what, Judge? This isn't me. I'm being prejudiced by this. I want a whole new panel. And that could happen. It absolutely could happen.
So if you're one of the co-defendants that isn't any a part of that, and, ha and any part of this happens in front of the jury, you know, and you know, and they they'll find out stuff. You know, they 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 read the newspaper. They're not supposed to, but you know, you know damn well that they're going to find out about this stuff. If I'm one of the co-defendants that's not doing any of this, I'm pissed off because sure. this making everybody look bad. My right to a fair trial. Real talk. Right, and so. This man got a hat right here that say stop self snitching. That's exactly what it is. I think we heard enough though, man. If you ask me, bro, that was has to be the slowest way to do something ever, bro. Like they spotted him the second he moved from his chair and started walking towards him. Then he gave him this slow ass handshake. Didn't want to walk off like nothing happened and look back once you see like three police behind you. Everybody seen you. The lady at the front seen you, the people in the back seen you, the police seen you. God seen you, I seen you, and everybody else watching this video seen you. But the only thing we didn't see is you getting your damn stomach pumped out because you want to swallow and choke on about 30 urkeys. It's a damn fool, fam. You need milk. You're a little bit too hot out here. Real talk. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, though, man. I'm about done with that. Clock out, clock out, black got it. Check what that. Screw me. Break my bread right now. Break my money, nigga. Break my bread right now.